Hey hello guys, welcome to Wikivox channel where the search for the truth begins. First time in the world, a Singapore food agency has announced that people can eat lab grown meat. The agency has also given approval for the lab grown meat to be consumed. This license or approval was given to an American corporate. Who started this American company? What is the reason for starting this company? Many people don't know the answers to these questions. We know about the organization called PETA. There is controversial news that PETA was the reason for helping these companies to be started. Some say that within 2040, the world's total meat population will be dependent on this lab-grown meat which may cover nearly 40%. Can you believe this? Can we stop it or not? Bill Gates for so many years has said that the world's population has reached its peak. To feed these people, there will be no food. As an alternative source, he said to produce lab-grown meat and eggs. As Bill Gates has said, the world's population is growing fast and we don't have the food resources to supply the whole population. So there will be many questions regarding this issue in your minds. Let's go through each question and also discuss whether or not we have found a solution for these issues. We know that we use 4G network towers which affects the bird population and the population drops dramatically. After the confirmation of this news, how many of us are not using 4G technology? How many of us have stopped using 4G technology? The next one is the vehicle numbers has increased dramatically in the world. Through this carbon dioxide and many harmful gases are released into the earth's atmosphere. This is causing climate change. We all know that this is true. How many of us have stopped traveling in vehicles? In agriculture, the farmers should not use insect pesticides or any form of chemical to increase crop yields. But the farmers are still using it to protect and increase the yield of their crops. We have not been able to stop any of these things which are mentioned. What is the reason we are not able to stop these issues from happening? We have been fooled and made to believe that this is the only way forward and it has become our absolute necessity. The number of people consuming meat have increased. The quantity of meat consumption has increased. Within 2050, the world's population may be around 900 crores. There are 250 crores people in the world right now. According to Bill Gates numbers, nearly 110 crore people are not going to sleep every day without any food. Nearly 600 people eat unnecessary food. More than 200 people have some kind of deficiency. To overcome all this issue, we need to produce lab-grown meat. Bill Gates said that this is the reason he has started companies which produce lab-grown meat. He says that the lab-grown meat is the future of food. After the coronavirus pandemic, many will start propaganda that due to certain meat, the coronavirus spread throughout the world. Due to bird flu, many birds have been exterminated. They have said already that coronavirus has spread from some kind of meat or seafood. Many countries, including China, banned meat. By banning the meat, what will happen next? The governments or private companies will tell the people that they can produce certification that their grown meat is healthy. So in the future, we will have to depend on lab-grown meat from this private sector or the government. You may have a doubt. Is this possible in the near future? We have managed to use 4G network within a generation. Similarly, within 2035 to 2040, we will be consuming this lab-grown meat. To start these companies, their reasons are world population increase. This reason is acceptable. The next reason is using 10 kg cereals to obtain 1 kg meat, says a report. Whether it's chicken, goat or cows, these animals' expenses are higher than the food which is produced from them. But sometimes these meat becomes unusable due to viruses. But if the meat is grown in a lab, there will be no issues. How is this lab-grown meat produced? From an animal, a stem cell will be removed. Cells will be profilated in an incubator. Within two or three weeks, the cell will multiply and will become a piece of meat. 
They say that producing the meat in a lab will be pure and it will be healthy for the people who consume it. Even their marketing says that it tastes good. What will happen if you consume this lab grown meat? According to science, all proteins which are needed for the human body will be delivered. This is their statement. But the real truth is the human race is slowly moving away from nature. Singapore is the first to accept this lab grown meat. Following them, many countries will give approval to this meat. They will make us believe that there is no other way. They will say that the home grown chickens, goats will not be healthy whereas the lab grown meat will be healthy. Consuming home grown meat will lead to many diseases. This will be their agenda. We will have to accept their concept. Is there any way out of this trap? There is no way out. This lab grown meat research was started 10 years ago. Peter lends 1 million US dollars to a company. Peter says that many animals have been butchered for meat. So to reduce this, they wanted to produce lab grown meat. Peter also says that it will help in the project marketing and selling of this lab grown meat. The corporate which developed the lab grown meat started its branches and the people who worked in the project started to create their own companies. These companies call for shareholders which includes Bill Gates, Yahoo's deputy director, Google's deputy directors. They started to purchase their shares from these startup companies. They determined that this lab grown meat will be future food. So the world people will have to follow them. Singapore has not said that due to coronavirus, they have given approval to lab grown meat. They say that the greenhouse gas from the animals is a threat to climate change. So the world has to consume this lab grown meat. So when raising livestock for meat or consuming the meat will produce greenhouse gas, this has resulted in a massive climate change. Humans are forgetting their destructive ways and now are blaming animals. We know about the food chain. If there is a break in the chain, the entire food chain will be greatly affected. The propaganda which says that due to animals, the greenhouse gas has been released thus resulting in climate change is absolute nonsense. The governments which say within 2030 there should be no petrol or diesel cars but only electronic cars. The government will also pass a new law which will say that raising cattle can be only one or two. The reason will be climate change. The world government will meet and sign agreements. Humans will not have access to livestock. This will happen within 2030 or 2040. What is the profit for corporates who promote this meat? We don't have country seeds now. We are dependent on many corporates for seeds which are artificially developed. When it comes to honey, we could have seen boxes which contain honey bees. But now the homegrown honey business is no more. 13 companies produce the honey which is sold in India. The honey which is sold is adulterated and is fake honey. By consuming this, only diseases will spread. This has been said by the Center for Science and Environment which is an organization in India. This statement is a result of their research. What is their research called? The method which was used for research is nuclear magnetic resonance. The companies like Patanjali and Dabur, which produced honey, contained an extra ingredient. This ingredient is imported from China. Please search for this topic. This is the truth. The syrup which is in the honey is C2C3 operations. They were so clear that the syrup will be invisible to this research. This is not your sugar syrup. The honey which you give to your children contain no sugar syrup but golden syrup, invert sugar and rice syrup. These three syrups are banned in India. How are these syrups entering India? This enters India using a different name called fructose syrup. What will China do if it wants to occupy the region? They will name the region with a Chinese name. Nobody could have heard this name but the history will be written by the Chinese government. This is how the Chinese produce the fructose syrup. This is specially designed and imported for India only. Did the Chinese export this fructose syrup under food regulations of India? 
The answer to this question is an absolute no. The Chinese explanation is India is producing paint and it needs fructose syrup. This is their official statement. So a syrup which was imported to create paint is included in the honey and we are giving it to our children. The corporates are earning their money. This is the shocking truth. Similarly, they will bring in lab grown meat and this will be supported by Peter, Bill Gates and many more rich idiots. After this, they will say that through genetically modified bacteria, the lab grown meat can be produced. Then they will create the bacteria. They will need energy for processing this lab grown meat. They will invade air and water to separate hydrogen. The separated hydrogen will be used to create the bacteria. They will use it as an energy source. Due to this process, a lot of harmful gas will be released into the atmosphere which affects climate change. Science will never answer this but they will concentrate on the greenhouse gas from animals. So the ultimate result is killing livestock. People should not produce homegrown meat. This is the indirect answer from science and the corporates. They have to use the coronavirus pandemic to introduce this meat into the market. The corporates are working tirelessly to be successful. What is the corporate's name? Just Eat Inc. Just Eat was banned in 2015. In 2015, its name was Hampton Creek. The Hampton Creek changed their name and is now called as Just Eat Inc. How many rich and powerful men invest in the company? Many rich and powerful men invest in the company. They have developed lab-grown eggs and meat. Singapore government is going to import lab-grown meat from Just Eat Inc. You may ask us a question. How many corporates have been involved in producing lab-grown meat? More than 24 companies are involved. They are not your average corporates. These corporates are the highest of the highest corporates which includes LFA Farms, Mosa Meat, Just Inc, Meatable, Memphis Meat, Super Meat, Global Meat, Finless Meat and the list goes on and on. These corporates have invested in billions. Their target is not 2020 to 2025. In the 2030 market, these corporate shares will be very high. So the investors have already started to invest in billions in the corporates. Imagine the profit planning, marketing and the powerful men behind this market. If you have believed that artificial food is impossible, then change your mind. It's already here. What must we do? If we advise you, then it will become a conspiracy theory. Understand the truth. Understand the world politics. If you have understood them, there is a chance for a change. Comments about this video are most welcome. Please do subscribe and share for more content to Wikivox the voice of Tamil Pukisham. Please give a like to this video and please hit the notification icon. Nandri Vanakam.